the good life full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another exciting day in Joe's Kitchen. It's always an exciting day in Joe's Kitchen, isn't it? All right, I've got a great recipe to bring with you guys. Now, there's a drink in Italy and it's called the affogato, which means essentially drowning. So we're gonna make a video for you, whether it be later today or this week, which is the true accurate description or depiction of what that is, which is essentially a couple of scoops of gelato. In this case, it'll be vanilla ice cream. And then you're gonna add a couple of shots of espresso. And to be in the authentic, truest form, that's it. They don't put vanilla or they don't put whipped cream or anything on it, that's it. It's great, it's delicious, it's a lot of fun. So in our family with my kids, they don't really like the espresso, it's too bitter for them, you know? And so I was trying to find a, a way that I could come up with a dessert that would kind of enhance that, uh, if you will, and, and kind of cover up the bitterness of that coffee that they didn't like, but make something delicious so that we could stay authentic with that type of dessert. So I did that. So I came up with a, essentially it's gonna be a chocolate coffee syrup. And it's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, we made it yesterday, it is something that It'll be something you'll always want to make. You can put it on hand in the refrigerator, heat it up at any point. It's different, it's unique, it's not something a lot of people have, but it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I want to show you how to make it. It's fun, it's easy. Uh, so let me go over the ingredients with you and then we'll get started here in a couple minutes over on the stove. So we're going to do three cups of sugar, okay? So it's diabetes in a bowl, all right? But three cups of sugar. And then we're going to do a pinch of salt. Now you won't taste the salt, but it always, It'll enhance the flavor, it'll always bring it out. It adds that uh, silky smooth flavor to it, okay? We're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla, all right? And then what we want is bitter chocolate. You basically want baker's chocolate, high quality chocolate if possible, and you just need a half of an ounce. You do not need a lot of chocolate. Now there's a little technique to mix the chocolate and melt it so it becomes fully incorporated. So pay attention to that, because if not, a lot of times, some of you guys will see that. If you don't follow that, what happens is the the chocolate will start to float and clump on the top, and we don't want to do that. Now the last and most important ingredient is coffee. So I just want to give a shout out to Jordan over at the Atlas Coffee Club. They were kind enough to send me some coffee samples to use in our in our videos. And Atlas Coffee Club, what they basically do, real unique concept, but they, they have coffees from all over the world, exotic coffees from all over the world. And they sent me a, a pound of Colombian and they sent me a pound of Costa Rican coffee. So we're gonna actually use the Costa Rican in today's recipe. And uh, what's great about that is uh, you can join right up on their club, atlascoffeeclub.com. You go right on their website and you can sign up to a, uh, I can't talk today, I'm so excited. I haven't had any coffee. You can sign up on a subscription where they'll deliver it to your house uh, every month, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so that being said, we wanna use six uh, shots, if you will, or a cup of, uh, of espresso, essentially is what we're doing. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, a lot of people ask me that espresso is a little different than regular coffee. The bean, it's a coffee bean, but it's gonna be roasted a little bit longer, which makes it a little bit fattier uh, or, or lets the oils of the coffee come out a little bit more. And the other, the other issue is it's ground a little finer. So you'll see espresso grinds are finer and oily. They're kind of fatty. Um, and that gives it a, a much deeper flavor and it gives it what they call a creme which is the kind of the white almost looks like cream floating on top of the coffee that's a sign of a good espresso so if you don't have that um you know use regular coffee and for the purest out there plug your ears you can just take a cup of hot water and six heaping teaspoons of a, of an instant coffee again don't get mad but some people don't have the access to that so to make it simple you'll still get the same kind of feel and flavor um it certainly won't be authentic and it won't have the exact type uh, flavor, but it, it'll be close enough for you to experience a little bit of old style Italy in your house, okay? So we need to kind of mix a few things in a bowl here and go over to the stove. So give me a couple minutes, let me get organized. We'll tune right back with you guys. I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, you guys ready to make some cooking Italian with Joe? Coffee, espresso, chocolate, Italian style with the Atlas Coffee Club. I'm excited about it. All right, so here we go. We got three cups of sugar. Now here's the trick. You want the chocolate to melt and mix with a water solution, all right? So the couple of uh, tips here, one, shave it so it's in small bits, okay? Two, you're gonna mix it in the sugar, okay? And then you're going to mix it right in there so it's very well incorporated, all right? So I'm gonna do that with a little bit of my salt as well. We don't wanna add any liquid yet, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna essentially temper the sugar. I wanna start to warm the sugar and the chocolate. Once it starts to warm, I'm gonna slowly add the liquid. And what it does is it, uh, not to get too crazy, but it hydrates 
the fiber within the chocolate, the fat within the chocolate, and then it, it essentially emulsifies everything together. If you take a big hunk of chocolate and you go to dissolve it, you'll get large clumps of molecules of the chocolate and because of the what's called the surface tension and so forth, it just won't mix. I don't mean to make this a chemistry class, okay? So that's basically what we wanna do. We got a nice mix. So I'm gonna meet you guys over the stove. I'll show you how to mix this. It literally takes a few minutes. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. All right guys, I've got a pan, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna block your view here for a minute, but give me a second. I'm gonna pop that in, okay? And I've got a wooden spoon, you don't have to, you can use a metal one. And then I'm gonna just get it warm so that little bits of the chocolate are actually starting to melt. Again, the trick here is to try to get the chocolate as small as it can be. And if you do that, you're gonna temper the, the heat of the sugar with the chocolate. Once you do that, it's really easy. It'll stay fully incorporated. It's not gonna glom or float or anything like that. It's just a simple little way to do it. It's the way the masters do it. Certainly that's the way we do it here on Cooking in Town with Joe, so, all right? It's just something. I'll tell you, this is a dessert that, like I said, we came up with just to kind of compensate for the kids not liking coffee. And you drizzle this over some vanilla ice cream with a little whipped cream on the top, holy moly, good stuff. And if you're tired, you have three or four of those puppies, I'll tell you what, you're gonna be up all night because it's loaded with espresso. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the calories, you'll work them off. All right, so I'm gonna get this going and I'll tune back with you guys in a minute. All right, so I wanna just bring in, so the sugar looks, you know, I guess what I would call is dirty, right? You see how the chocolate's really well incorporated in there now? And the sugar's warm, it's not hot, but it's warm. So we're ready to go, all right? So what I'm gonna do immediately is I'm gonna add, now if you, if you have the bare metal, it'll bubble, not that it's a big deal, it's gonna bubble a little bit all anyways, but you're just gonna start mixing it, nice and slow, okay? And just slow, like you're making a, almost like you're making a pasta, and you're slowly bringing in that sugar on the outside, isn't that awesome? Or like candy making, okay? And it'll grab a little bit on the bottom, it'll crystallize on the bottom, but don't worry about it. As you add a little bit more, you're fine. I'm gonna add my vanilla as I'm doing this, okay? And then I'm just gonna keep mixing it. And it's fun, and it smells awesome. Woo! You know we're having fun when it starts to make that noise. So now we know the sugar in the coffee in the chocolate, most importantly, everything's really well incorporated. You're not gonna have to worry about anything. All right, guys, my last ingredient, and I forgot to put that in the beginning, I'm sorry. So, again, we're a small uh, budget production house here, but we got half a stick of butter. Now you're gonna put that right in, right when it's about ready to make a syrup. And what the butter does is it softens and smooths out the flavor makes it silky and it almost gives it like a caramel flavor. It's not quite a caramel, but it gives it a caramel flavor. Oh, it's absolutely awesome. So as that melts down, you're gonna see it start to thicken up. Everything starts to really get well incorporated. And then when that melts, you're seeing it right now thicken up a little bit more, we're there. We've hit the magic spot. Now I like to serve it on a vanilla ice cream. You can drizzle it all over cookies. You can drizzle it over Biscotti and let it cool, have it over while it's hot, put some biscotti cookies over some vanilla ice cream and drizzle it over. I got all kinds of different ways. I've been studying this stuff for years. I'm a master. <laughs> but in any case, this is about where we where we want it. So I always like to use it hot. So I think what we'll do is when we showcase this, I'll drizzle it over some vanilla ice cream and show you exactly what this tastes like. But look at that, isn't that fantastic? And I can just you can really smell that the chocolate and the coffee and that, that almost, like I said, it's almost like a caramel flavor, but not quite. It almost smells there. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna plate it with some vanilla ice cream and I'll show you the best way to eat it, guys. All right, guys, so here's the trick. What can I do with this great chocolate coffee oh, syrup that we just made, right? What can I do with it? I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do with it. So that's technically, again, it's my, uh, Affogato, we've got some homemade gelato. Check out our recipe, it's homemade vanilla ice cream. So we'll call it gelato because we're doing an Italian video, right? And then what I do is I like to take it hot and I'm gonna drizzle it right over the top. Is that like unbelievable, right? So, and that's the affogato, that's the drowning 
if you will, okay, of the ice cream. And I'm gonna throw a little homemade whipped cream on there, right? And I'm gonna throw a couple of chocolate shavings on the top. Are you kidding me? Is that absolutely unbelievable? So let's check out our syrup. Oh wait, there's a little extra vanilla ice cream on there. What can I do with that? Hmm, I don't know exactly what I would do that. All right, are you ready to take a trip to Joe's kitchen? Mm. I'll tell you, when you get that coffee, the coffee in there with the chocolate, it is so perfect. I put that butter in the end just to give it a little extra caramel cream. Mm. And the caramel there, that syrup is starting to get hard or like almost gooey. Oh my God, that's good. One more. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you, when the Italians came up with the word dolce, that's exactly what they had in mind. That is absolutely unbelievable. Guys, check out that recipe. I'll tell you, that syrup you can throw on cookies and cakes and ice cream and whatever else. Or you can just try to taste it plain. It doesn't taste so bad that way either. <laughs> guys, thanks for letting me share this great recipe with you guys. Something right out of my kitchen. Cooking with Italian with Joe's. Mm, forget about a kitchen. Spend some time with your family. Thanks for letting me share my traditions, my heritage with you. Until next week, oh, buon appetito. Good life, full of fun, seems to be the